Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carry such a heavy load, honey. Feels like you're all alone. You're needing your recipe. Well, I'm the one to see. Tiny rolls along you. Wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Oh. And here we have Sarai's from Adas. Papi, I love papi sausage. Papi, I love squash. Papi, I love Popeye the sailor. I eat my spinach. Lovely fall dinner casserole of healthy ingredients. <laughs> Sarai's from Adas, papi. Uh, turkey sausage, platano and squash, and spinach dish. Oh God, I can't wait to taste it. I'm so hungry. My name is Super Sexy, Super Fabulous, and Super Desirable. Soraya Sarada, welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my show. Olas, my darlings. So I don't know quite how my makeup came out because I'm using a new table, um, vanity table and lighting mirror and all of that. So I'm getting adjusted to that, but I hope I look pretty. I feel fabulous. Um, that's really the main thing is feeling really good about yourself, myself, right? No matter what I really look like, you know, um, doing the best I can to, to present myself in the best way possible. Here on this show while I'm spinning with my Invisaligns on, I feel good. Yes, honey, the recipe that I'm doing today is one of my favorite recipes. Now, you know, some of you know, that I used to be much heavier in weight. I used to be 220 pounds, and I've been maintaining my weight loss for about 26 years, okay? And so, you know, I cook healthy, kind of transitioned in many ways, but I have transitioned from eating traditional Puerto Rican meals with a lot of fat, white flour, MSG, artificial flavorings, colorings, a lot of fast food, really deep, intense, unhealthy relationship with Colonel Sanders, and the Burger King, and Mr. McDonald, Ronald McDonald, messing around in his playhouse way too often, honey. Wanting to lose the weight, I transitioned away from all those unhealthy relationships and unhealthy foods, and developed healthier recipes of my Latin cooking, which I love my Latin food, right? You guys know that I say it all the time, but I do, I love my Latin meals, okay? Um, and every so once in a while, you know, with my weight loss, you know, I, I kind of get, I get into a groove of a particular recipe, uh, usually something that I've come up with on my own. Um, I, I eat sexier on the weekends, but during the week I kind of eat basically the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinners. But I go through periods where the dinner changes, lunch changes, whatever. Breakfast is always fruit and vegetables. Lunches change. I'm not going to get into what I have usually for lunch, but dinners definitely change. There was a time I was having a lot of barley with my dinners instead of white rice or even brown rice. And then when I, just, when I detected that something was going on with gluten, I eliminated barley. I don't really use barley, barley that much. I really miss it, but I don't use it that much. So I went more into brown rice. So, but then there's other dishes that I find another carb that I'll use often. And um, one of them is plantain. Okay, honey, so yes, plantain. So recipe that I'm doing today is something I came up with. It's my own recipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through the ingredients. I'm going to kind of share it to what the recipe means for me, right? Um, it's definitely a recipe that can go into the fall season because uh, it entails squash. I use squash. I'll bring the squash out and all the ingredients. And I use always, uh, I do a lot of turkey products. So I do turkey sausage. I do the Shady Brook Farms turkey sausage off. So I, I use a lot of turkey. And so the recipe has a squash, the turkey sausage. It has um, the yellow plantain, which the riper it gets, the better, it, then it ends up being sweeter. I like mine where it's getting brown like this, uh, to like where it's pretty ripe. Those, are, so the squash, the plantain, the turkey sausage, and spinach. Those are the, the primary ingredients. Then I use onion, I use garlic, I use my soya sobredas, super slamming sofrito. I like my weekly dinners to be like a one uh, pot, one dish recipe, one dish meal. So everything ends up going on one dish and I, and I mix it all up and I let it kind of cook up and absorb and get all nice and juicy and delicious. And it's just one, my carbs are there, my vegetables are there, 
my proteins are there, my fats are there, everything is in that one dish. And that's how I like to cook. So what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this the rice from the last squashy, poppy, turkey sausage, Popeye, the, the sailor spinach recipe. <laughs> so I use turkey sausage with squash and spinach. I make it un papi ora mismo, que es el Saturday night, me siento bien bella dish. <laughs> okay, it's going to have a couple of names, I'm sure, to this recipe and through this show. So um, I'm just going to say that I'm just really happy to be here and I'm happy that you're here, darling. So we're going to go to the ingredients. Now, um, I have my sofrito uh, here, uh, you know, mine that I put in the ice cube trays. I like doing it like that. So I'm going to use like two to three cubes of this. Now, this recipe can actually serve at least two people, but I eat the whole thing. I mean, you're going to see it's going to be a really good cake. I uh, use the yellow plantain, uh, like I said, a little ripe, yellow. Um, about 8 ounces, 8 to 10 ounces. And then I love my Shady Book Farms um, turkey sausage. I do. And hot Italian, you know. I can date a hot Italian. I haven't dated a hot Italian, but I'm open to it. Um, and then I have, I, I gotta get the squash, so just bear with me. I have the squash here, but I wanna show you what it looks like. This is the squash that I use. Like, I think it's called Kabuka, Kabuchi squash. I cut it in half, I scoop out the seeds, and then I, I slice it, and then I skin it. I cut the skin off, and I totally love it. I mean, I eat this every day, practically, um, lately. Uh, this dish is a very good dish for the fall, because I love squashes and pumpkins in the fall. But then again, if you don't mind me just fixing it up, uh, fixing it up. <laughs> um, I like my squashes all year round, spaghetti squashes, Butternut squashes, whatever that squash is. I love the acorn squa squash, you know, with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of dairy-free uh, butter, uh, a little bit of sweetener. It's so delicious, so delicious. And, you know, I do my pumpkin pies. So I love a lot of better carotene, which is in pumpkin, right? Because it's orange vegetable and in squash. So I have a nasty old uh, corningware dish, but it has the squash peeled and cubed and I microwave this for about four minutes okay so the squash is not cooked on the stove it's microwaved on the side um, the spinach um, which is a bag of your store brand plain chopped spinach I use a whole entire bag that sauteed with uh, the Shady Book Farms I use two of the turkey sausages okay and then I put some chopped onion, which I have here. You guys have seen onion before, whatever. I have some fresh garlic. I'm going to take two to three cloves, put it in there. I have my Goya olive oil, uh, at least a tablespoon. And you just notice that I use a lot of cooking spray. So if you, some people really do not like you using cooking sprays. And I, whatever, I, whatever, you know, it's good for you. It's cool. So you may want to end up putting more olive oil, maybe two to three tablespoons, okay? I like my cooking sprays, I just do. I don't know, they're like, they're like cans of spray paint. And speaking of cooking sprays, I'm using my canola uh, cooking spray. I love the butter flavor in this recipe. The squash with the buttery flavor of the spray. Again, you could use your, uh, I think it's Earth Balance buttery spreads with the olive oil would be very, very cool. Very, very great, fantastic with this dish. If you want to refrain from using cooking sprays. I know some people, again, you know, there's some additives in the cooking spray that really, really we, we shouldn't really be having, but I cannot be perfect, darling, you know? <laughs> I would love to be perfect all the way around my food stuff, but hey, no, no, no. Just refraining from the relationships of Burger King and Colonel Sanders is a miracle within itself for 26 years, so I'm really grateful for that. So I'll take some silicone in the cooking spray, but not in my chest, I have enough. <laughs> Goya Dobo. And I know I, we all have to watch soil content, so be careful. Spices. Uh, my lovely turmeric, it's so beautiful, gives us color, it's very healthy, antioxidant. Some allspice, because of the uh, squash component in this recipe. The allspice works really well. Ground cloves works really fabulous with this recipe. It makes it warm 
autumn, autumn like uh, kind of kind of really cool dish. Nutmeg, ground nutmeg. You can use apple pie spice if you want. You know, I, I you know I like a lot of flavor. You know, uh, so uh, I have powdered ginger, uh, but you can use fresh ginger. Would be amazing. Uh, I don't have fresh ginger today. A little bit of vanilla extract. I have Dominican vanilla extract, but any vanilla extract, the better the quality, the better, the better. And I'm looking at everything, and I think those are all the ingredients. Okay. So now the prep time is in chopping up the onion and the garlic. The sofrito is already made, so so the prep time is actually chopping up the uh, onion. And if you have your sofrito handy, then you don't have to, you know, mess with it. You just take your cubes out. And you just use your so sofrito whatever way you use your sofrito. I would say I use two to three cubes of the sofrito in this recipe. So I would say that's two to three tablespoons of sofrito. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the uh, squash in the microwave for the four minutes. While that's going on, the four minutes there, we're going to go to the stove. But I'm going to uh, you sh I'll show you how we start. We're going to sauté first the sofrito and the oil with the onions. Then add the turkey, turkey halfway cooked. Then we add the spinach with the plantain. Um, and then we'll go from there. The plantain needs to be cut up, so I'm going to pause the tape. You don't need to see me do that. Maybe you will, so I can show off my outfit. <clears throat> I've worn this outfit before, but it always seems to feel more and more sexier each time I wear it. So we'll see what I'm going to do with this, but it's definitely going to go in the dish, okay? So my darlings will be back to Soraya's Fierce Cooking Show. Hey darling, I just want to show off the dress a little bit. No chichos today. You know it's funny when you wear the right undergarments, you know, your outfits just fit so much better. You know? Um, this is a, a cover of the undergarments from you, but I feel so sexy, darling. My name is the Super Sexy, Super Fab, this is Super Desire. What's the rise of the Welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my show. Yes, darling. So here we have my lovely Cuisinart skillet, darling. What I have in here so far are three cubes of the sofrito. I have my trusty Cuisinart skillet. I have my three cubes of sofrito. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're going to grab the onions. I would say about um, a half a chopped onion. Okay. I feel like adding the plantain. The plantain that I have is about eight to nine ounces. I did weigh it. Just cubed up a little bit. I would have added this later if it was more ripe. But since it's semi-ripe, okay, in my opinion, it's semi-ripe, okay? So it's a little firmer. It's gonna take longer to cook. So I'm turning this down a little bit to medium. I'm getting my spatula. I'm just gonna stir that up a little bit. What I really like to do is get my um, my onion and the sofrito to cook a little bit. So I'm bringing the heat up just a little bit now because if I added the plantain, the temperature kind of cooled down and the recipe is going to get really hot and sexy and sweet like so real quick. Um, we're going to add some cooking spray even though we added oil. It's just, it's just a tablespoon. So we have the canola oil. We have butter flavored spray, which I adore. Okay. Right? And that's cool. So we're going to let that cook up a little bit. And before I put the lid on it so it can kind of cook a bit, I'm going to start putting my spices. So I'm ground ginger. I like using like a quarter teaspoon. I love my allspice with this dish. Also, like a quarter teaspoon. It's brown. It's such a nice, beautiful spice. Brown color. Turmeric. About a quarter teaspoon as well. I'm adding a nutmeg. This is about an eighth of a teaspoon. And uh, some ground cloves. Oh my god, I love that on it. Big ham. That's like an eighth of a teaspoon. 
vanilla extract, probably like half a teaspoon, and then Goya adobo, Mr. Adobo, like a teaspoon. Yeah. We'll take it as we go along. We're going to stir that up. Yes, lovely. Okay, a little bit more cooking spray. You see now how it's cooking up really nice. So we're going to do now, we're going to add our two turkey sausages. We definitely rinse them. We always rinse them. Slit it. And then I take it out of the casing. Here's the casing. The sausage goes in here. Like how I say that the sausage goes in here. Casing comes up. I put the casing in there. And then what we do is with the spatula, we break up the turkey. So what we want is the turkey sausage to brown a bit. Uh, but we don't want it to fully cook yet, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to add the spinach too. Okay. Yes, I'm feeling festive. Yeah, the um, plantain is cooking. The turkey sausage is cooking. So here we have the dish. That's what it's looking like. And now we're going to add the spinach. I love Blue Town. You know, just regular old spinach, honey. A little, little thaw it out. And we're just going to add her. So, the spinach has been added. We're just going to mix that all together. We're going to add some cooking spray. And remember, with the amount of adobo that I just that I added in the beginning of the recipe, we've added the spinach. And so the spinach needs some flavor as well. I like my meals to be flavorful. I'm picking up the heat a little bit because the spinach is cold. I'm adding more cooking spray, like I mentioned. You can also mix up some peanut oil with this. That'll be kind of kind of nice. Really cool. Actually, very cute. And I did some adobo. Okay. So that gets cooked up all together. The squash is already cooked. It's in the microwave. And we're going to add the squash last. But we need this to cook up a little bit. So I'm just going to cover it. We're going to set the timer for about four minutes. And then we're going to be back. I want to show you something that I got from Cuisinart. I'm hoping I can do this. Let's, let's try. Actually, there's a few things I want to show you. But this is the first thing. Cuisinart is so cool. Whenever I need something, Cuisinart has been really fabulous. They sent me a lot of stuff. You know, I did my We Are Family. I got all my Cuisies Me song about it. But I needed a coffee maker because I kind of redid my kitchen and I wanted a new coffee maker. I had, you know, I had another coffee maker that I've been using for a while and it was working fine. But I really wanted a new coffee maker. So I called up Alona. Passenger, I think her last name is. I cleaned and I said, honey, can you send me a coffee maker for the show? Because Q's and I has been really cool. I called and I connected and they sent me some, some stuff. I said, listen, I got a cooking show, blah, blah, blah. It's really, really good. I love your products. Can you send me some stuff? They're like, sure, sure, sure. So I want to use Cuisine Art. So um, they've been also using my Instagram photos on Cuisine Art, you know? So they sent me a coffee maker, darling. Look how cute this is, honey. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to open up and put it all of you. Oh, I can't wait to set up my coffee maker. I can't wait. So we're going to put it back down here. And you know what else I'm going to show you? You guys know that I changed the color of the kitchen, right? So I had a pink Marilyn Monroe. I loved it. 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 So we're changing it now since I have the green um, and the blue. I have a decal that's a new decal of Marilyn Monroe, but in green. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it real clear. No, you're not going to be able to see it. Not really but you'll see it when I'm done, but I want you to see the green. Can you see the green? Yeah, you can see the green. So it's a different green than I have on my wall. So the handles on the refrigerator are going to come close, as close as possible to the screen. But So we're going to have a green mountain row here. And with the energy, you know how I love having really beautiful energy in my kitchen when I cook, right? Marilyn Monroe is one of them. Donna Summer is now a new energy that's in this kitchen. Since I painted it this color, it's like Donna Summer just came here. Like, she's here. She's here. Like, Marilyn Monroe is here. And just like my family is here. You know, my mom, you guys, I show you pictures of my mom. She's here. And I found this picture of my grandmother. You know, a picture of my mom. 
and my dad, you know, he was such a foodie, such a sharp, dapper guy, really. I love him. Loved him, loved him, loved him. And I miss him. And my grandma, who was a great cook, who when I came out, she goes, oh, when you have a boy, you know, when I first came out as a gay man, now I'm something new. Um, she goes, oh, when you have, you know, a little guy friend, bring him over and I'll make some rice and beans. No, she would say, I don't want to lose fried chicken. She was a great cook. Um, she never saw me, you know, as Soraya. Uh, my mother kind of got a vibe on Soraya. So, but my mom, you know, became really cool with my guy friends. Um, you know, one of them in particular, she was very, very fond of. I won't mention his name because he's shy like that. But that's the energy that's in the kitchen and the green Marilyn Monroe. I, I had to redo the, um, the refrigerator because when I pulled off the decal of Marilyn Monroe, the contact paper came out and got wrinkly. So I got a better DC Fix contact paper is much better than that other brand. I forget that brand that I had here. At first it didn't work out very well. But it looks fantastic. The kitchen feels fabulous. Um, sometimes I feel like selling my apartment and opening up a restaurant. But now that I redid the kitchen, I'm like, no, I love my kitchen. We'll see, we'll see. But I want a restaurant in Jackson Heights. I want you guys to come and I cook for you and I serve you. And, and I go like this and ask you, how, how did you like your meal, darling? Was it, did it meet your expectations? Is there anything that I could do to, to make that meal? Tastes better. Is I'm willing to do almost anything. I'm willing to do almost anything. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not willing to do almost anything. But I am willing to cook you a really good meal that's delicious, healthy Latin meal, and that you enjoy with a great ambiance, honey. Darling, it would be fierce, 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 fierce. Darling, it would be so fierce, so fierce, honey. <laughs> Stop. Let's go back to the dish. Okay, my dollies. So here we are. She smells so beautiful. You smell the nutmeg, you smell the cloves, you smell the garlic, um, the ginger. Oh my god, it's just like this beautiful array of flavors and aromas. It's just fabulous. The plantain is cooked, the turkey is cooked. What I'm going to do now is add the squash. Oh my god, it's raining like crazy. And we're just going to stir that up a bit. And I'm going to lower the heat. I'm going to add some cooking spray. And I'm going to make this sit for about two minutes. It's basically done because the squash is cooked. And what I'm doing is just letting everything kind of come in together. Add everything, meaning all the ingredients and all the flavors. You see how much this is? This is a big skillet. I'm going to cover her, i say three minutes so everything comes together really nice. And we'll be back. We have another gift from Cuisinart. We have their coffee maker. Let me see which brand this is, which model. The DCC 1200 series. Stainless steel and black, darling. They didn't have a white one, that's okay. Um, and I, I'm just, I know I'm gonna enjoy it and I wanna thank Lona Gossinger from Cuisinart for sending this um, item and for being so supportive of Soraya's for the Das Beers cooking show. Yes, honey, the dish is ready. Look at it. The squash, the spinach, the plantain is in there mixed up nice. It's all one, all the ingredients are here, your protein, your carb, your vegetable, your fat. I love this dish so much, so much, so much. Now I'm going to serve it. You know I love serving it, honey. I am using my Marilyn Monroe plate. We're just going to put a little bit here and we'll do a taste test. And here we have Sarai's from Adas. Papi, I love papi sausage, papi, I love squash, papi, I love Popeye the sailor. I eat my spinach. Lovely fall dinner casserole of healthy ingredients. <laughs> so rice with us, papi, uh, turkey sausage, platano and squash and spinach dish. Oh God, I can't wait to taste it. I'm so hungry. Hi, darlings. We're going to have a taste test. The dish is right behind me. Here it is. So rice for Badaz, I don't have a definite name, but darling, this is one of my favorite dishes. I have this all the time. It has squash, it has spinach, 
turkey sausage plantain, onion, garlic, sofrito, olive oil, cooking spray, all those spices, nutmeg, cloves, ground cloves, allspice, uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, adobo. It's just delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. The sweetness of the plantain, the spiciness of the turkey sausage, the squash, it's got that nice warm full flavor, the spinach, the onions, the spices, it's delicious. Honey, try this. This recipe will be up soon. Watch my shows on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, Queens Public Access TV. My videos always get posted on YouTube. Check out my website. Um, I'm available for parties, you know, to cook for you and sing for you and have uh, a very fabulous dish to serve for you. And say, you know, a couple of prayers for me that I, I get to open up a restaurant hopefully this year in Jackson Heights and serve this wonderful, delicious, healthy, Latin-infused, uh, Latin-inspired um, dishes inspired by the queen of healthy Latin cooking. My name is Soraya Sobata. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my show. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so delicious. That was a big chunk of squash. It was delightful. Bye. Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carry such a heavy load, honey. Feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe. Well, I'm the one to see. Tiny rolls along you. Wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Oh.